Happiness is really just about four things. Perceived control, perceived progress, connectedness or the number and depth of your relationships, and vision or meaning, being a part of something bigger than yourself. Tony Shea. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Quotes to Live By. I'm John Timmerman. God rest his soul. Tony Shea recently passed away. He was a huge inter- inspiration of mine. He was the founder of Zappos and quite frankly, the founder of focusing on customer value and customer happiness as the first thing you pay attention to in a business. He, he really carved out this focus for companies to make sure that customer service was above and beyond anything else operations, marketing, and we saw this in the growth of Zappos, its acquisition by Amazon for, I don't even know, like a billion dollars maybe, and his continued advocation for, or advocacy for focusing on happiness. Uh, he came out with a book about happiness. So he was a huge inspiration of mine, still is to this day, um, God rest his soul. But this quote really focuses in on what happiness really is. And I did an earlier podcast, Elon Musk, basically a, a quote where he talks about, if you want to learn something new, start at the roots and the, and the trunk of the tree, the basic concepts, and then you can sp- branch out into details and, and more nitty gritty th- things. But this is basically a really concise way to understand what happiness is. And from here, you can deploy strategies if you're HR or cul- culture development, or if you're just trying to be a good person and build your community. Think about these, th- these four things that Tony describes what happiness really is. Perceived control, right? So people want to feel like they have control over their life, their situation. When we get out of control, we become more stressed out. We come, become a little bit more uneasy. And thus that leads to us becoming a little bit more unhappy. So giving that perceived control is something that adds a building block to our structure of happiness. Next, perceived progress. Um, I think it was Tony Robbins that says, that boil down happiness to progress and the basic human need to feel like they are progressing, either progressing their, themselves in their own personal development or progressing the people and the communities around them. So perceiving that they are progressing, they, they have some value towards society and they're helping moving it forward. Uh, connectedness. This one's really really important, especially as we're recording this. Uh, it's the end of 2020. It's a, a crazy year with the pandemic and people have been socially distanced and really struggling with this, which is why we've seen a lot of depression. And the connectedness is something that we've been lacking. Of course, there's video calls and FaceTime, but it's not the same as giving somebody a hug, you know, sharing a glass of wine right next to somebody. It's not the same, but the number and depth of your relationships. So, you know, I want to challenge Tony on the number piece because I think it depends on who you are and the way you were brought up and your circumstances as to whether the number of people that are you're connected with has more weight than the depth. I think for the majority of people who can become confident in who they are, that having just a few friends that are really, really deep-rooted, really positive relationships is enough. Uh, you don't need 10, 20, 30 great friends. You need like one to three amazing friends to really be happy. But that's that's to really be happy, but that's just my opinion. Uh, and the fourth one is vision or meaning, being a part of something bigger than yourself. This one is something that a lot of people struggle with. What are they doing today and what is it leading to? Like, where is it going? So many people struggle with this. I've struggled with this in the past. Shit, it's the reason why I've started and stopped so many different podcasts and video shows is because I didn't know what it was actually leading to. I recently have settled on the Understanding my brain is very ADD, and so I need to talk about a lot of different things. This actually helps me educate. I talk about a lot of different things with a lot of different people, and it helps formulate my thoughts, which then go into building my business, building my personal relationships in my, in my family and my personal uh, life. So I need a lot of these different things to pick pieces from, and so my meaning is to discuss and communicate ideas with people, try to guide those ideas that I feel like are moving things forward that I have control of, like my business or my family, and, you know, rinse and repeat. So I realize that that's what I need to talk about on this podcast is a lot of different thoughts and ideas that all culminate towards growing a great team and growing great brands and positively impacting the world. So this quote's amazing. Thank you, Tony, from the bottom of my heart for 
helping pave the way for where I am today. You were a huge inspiration. Uh, rest in peace, my friend. Like and comment if you thought this podcast was helpful.